Hi and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how you can do some simple color grading right in Adobe Premiere Pro with your CineStyle footage. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, click on the annotation here and it'll take, take you and uh, show you how to install that. Um, but basically we're going to try to show you all the built-in Adobe Premiere ways and then I'm going to introduce you to something called Magic Bullet. Uh, which gives you some pretty cool presets that you can immediately drop on your footage and it will uh, create things like a blockbuster look, an epic look, um, Berlin, uh, just to name a few. So uh, let's get started. So for the sake of this tutorial I decided to go up to my roof. Uh, I live in Denver and uh, just take a little test footage just to see, give you an idea. So uh, here's what it looks like. I'm just kind of panning around and it's a uh, Kind of a cold winter day out there, so you see a lot of uh, a lot of whites. There's a lot of light coming through those clouds, um, and so something good to start with because, as you can see, the it's just kind of flat footage right now, um, and that's because it's shot in cine style, uh, 24 frames per second, and so there's a lot that now the video allows us to do in post. So I've uh, brought in my footage here, and now it's in my timeline down here. Um, so I can kind of scrub through it. Haven't done anything to it yet. Um, one of the first things that I saw in some other tutorials that looks like a good idea to start with is just simply bringing in something called ProCamp. And this only gives you a couple settings. But um, what you want to do is uh, kind of brightness down a little bit, maybe turn that contrast up a little bit, and go ahead and bump up your saturation. Especially in my footage where it's very much uh, you know, just kind of this bland footage. But now you'll see with, with the saturation bumped up, I got my blue sky, you know, really coming out a little bit. Uh, the, the wood color there is really starting to pop. Um, one issue though that still remains is still, there's kind of just this overpowering light coming through. Um, so we'll address that with the, uh, with the next thing that we're going to do here. Um, so what I'm going to now bring in is uh, something called curves, RGB curves. And this is just your S curve. Um, if you've seen anything like this before, um, typical S curve means you're going to bump up those highs and bring down those lows to really, really improve that contrast. And now you're going to start seeing those dark colors coming out. And so this is already starting to look pretty good, in my opinion. Um, but just because I'm worried about this light at the end, the sun up here, I might not quite bring my highs up that high. I might actually leave them a little bit lower. Uh, it may darken my footage, but um, that's okay for right now. Um, I've got another another little fix, but as you can see there, it looks pretty good. And uh, maybe I'll bring my red. I always bring the reds down just a little bit, just because I don't want it to be too warm looking. It's winter footage, um, so and maybe I'll even add a little bit of a blue to that, a little blue tint. So now it kind of matches the um, at least the temperature I was experiencing when I was standing outside just a minute ago. Um, so that looks pretty good. Um, one more thing you can uh, play with is the fast color corrector. Uh, the Adobe tutorial will actually show you how to use this. Um, but very simply, um, another thing I should say is you can always show a split. Uh, so anytime you make a change, your screen can split horizontally or vertically to show you the, the uh, um, differences between uh, your edits. So that's a good thing to know. You can do that in all of these uh, ProCamp uh, curves. But uh, what I'm going to do here is just get in to my input levels. And so another way to bump those darks up is if I start dragging this up from there on my input level, I'm going to see also a substantial darkening. Um, I, can, I can then even darken it more, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep my grays, my midtones sort of higher. And it's a little too high. And then I'm going to bring my whites down a little bit, level down, just to kind of lighten up that uh, the uh, high end of my coloring. Um, another thing you can do to figure out what colors you have a lot of in your footage is if you bump your saturation here way up, what you'll see is you'll, you can start picking up, and it actually looks pretty good um, just by itself if you want a really saturated video clip. But what you can do is you can start to see now I've got a lot of reds coming out. And if you have footage, we just notice there's just one color that is just jumping off the screen. What you can do is go in the opposite direction on this pinwheel and sort of bring that down. And that will level out your clip a little bit. And now you can bring the saturation back down. And you've sort of adjusted that, uh, that color 
of your video. And so anyway, these are all little tricks I picked up in tutorials. There's plenty out there. Um, and so anyway, I want to get rid of all of these now. ProCamp, Curves. So I'm back to my original footage. Now I have something called Magic Bullet, which I highly recommend. Um, and there is a, a thing called Looks. And there's actually a free sample you can use or you, you can get the actual software. Um, I think it's 100 bucks or 199 bucks on their website. I'll post it in the uh, metadata. And anyway, you can take your raw footage, bring it in now, and, let, and now there's the whole thing called a look theater where you can, okay, let's say I want to go for a, you know, a classic uh, popular TV show, and I'm looking for uh, some previews of some views I can get. Well, they're going to do all the grading for you. They're going to add things like saturation, exposure changes, contrast changes. Um, they may even add noise for you in some of these, I assume. Um, but uh, you can kind of scroll through and then, um, uh, let's see, so tension. Yeah, let's try that. And you can notice that's pretty cool little uh, edge softness they got going on there. So if I hit finish, uh, well, it brought in a different one because it was panning. But you can see now it brings it right into my timeline. And you can render this out. And now you've got this uh, cool effect all, all created for you. Um, so that's what I recommend uh, is Magic Bullet or using the ProCamp, the um, Fast Color Corrector, and the Curves. And one last thing to give it that cinematic quality is to bring in something called Noise. You'll take Noise, you'll drag it into your clip, and now I've got Noise right here. Uh, unclick using Color Noise because you don't want that. You just want that kind of grain. And then you can start bumping this up. You see if I bump it up too far, you can kind of see now on the uh, on the footage that I've got I've got some pretty good noise going on. But if you give it maybe three four percent, you'll really give it that film look um, without having to go in and get like a thirty five millimeter uh, film noise uh, overlay. Um, so anyway, those are some simple ways to uh, really kind of upgrade your flat footage from CineStyle and start making different cinematic quality uh, clips. Thanks for watching this brief tutorial on uh, how to do some interesting things with your footage, uh, color grading, uh, enhancing that footage that you have. Um, I'm no expert. Uh, I do play around with a lot of video, but um, as I've said before, some great uh, channels to check out would be uh, Newman Films and Dave Dugdale. Um, Dave Dugdale spends a lot of time doing reviews of equipment and uh, software and lenses etc. And Newman Films they really do a lot of stuff. They have both a tutorial channel and their own um, channel of their own homemade videos. Um, I guess not homemade but production videos. So check them out. Subscribe to me. I'll keep bringing you little snippets of things that I hope you can use. And feel free to comment and leave me anything that you want me to uh, give you a tutorial on. Thanks.